It's noon, October 13th, 1917. The place is the Cova de Iria near Fatima, Portugal. 70,000 people have arrived. It's raining, and had been raining all night, and the 70,000 people, standing in the open, were wet to the skin. Their numbers have turned the soaked field into a sea of puddles and mud four inches thick, pounded to mush by a 140,000 feet. Most were devout Catholics, coming to honor the Queen of Heaven and witness the sign she months before had promised for this day and this hour. Some came hoping for a personal healing of body, mind, or soul, for the conversion of loved ones, for consolation, and encouragement in faith. And there were others, the looky-loos, the curious, the skeptics and detractors, minor government officials, police, newspaper reporters and their photographers. The photographers, thank God for the photographers. The few priests, and there were very few priests, the learned and the peasant alike, and, of course, the pickpockets and opportunists. The children tell us that when Our Lady appeared, the rain stopped. Shortly after a conversation between Our Lady and the children, the waited-for sign appeared. We're not concerned with describing this sign, but with the resulting facts around it. The sign lasted eight to ten minutes. The people were soaked. They weren't wearing drip-dry polyester or plastic-lined jackets, as no such thing existed at this time. They were wearing wool, cotton, or linen homespun, all of which absorbed and held the rain. Their clothes were heavy and cold, Even those with umbrellas did not escape being saturated with water. Yet, after those eight to ten minutes, their clothes, hair, and belongings were perfectly dry. Eight to ten minutes, and the puddles and four inches of mud in which they stood and knelt became firm, dry ground. Fast forward to today. Scientists who studied the photographs and eyewitness reports conclude that in those scant eight to ten minutes, the temperature would have had to rise thousands of degrees to accomplish the resulted drying effects. Thousands of degrees that would have reduced 70,000 people in eight to ten minutes to a field of human ash. There were no reports at that time of anyone being harmed, only healings. Even those who claimed to have seen nothing could not deny their clothing and the ground were now perfectly dry. No possible claim of mass hysteria could explain this universally acknowledged fact, so the detractors and unbelievers simply choose to ignore it. The miracle of Fatima was not only in the sky, if only we have eyes to see. Let us pray for the conversion of poor sinners. My God, I believe, I adore, I trust, and I love Thee. I beg pardon for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not trust, and do not love Thee. This is Monica from St. Joseph's, asking God's blessings on you, and thanks for watching.